and welcome back to another video. So today I'm finally going to be filming my emerald makeup look for my birthstone series. Now I had already previously filmed this, got halfway through it, hated it, ended up filming something completely different and I was like yeah I'll just come back to it another day and that day is today and we are on the 8th of June. <laughs> so I'm really sorry that it's not actually in May but hopefully you guys will enjoy it anyway. So I am going to try and keep on top of them now. I've not really been able to film. This is a first time I'm filming like a makeup sit down video in about a month so I'm sorry if it's a little gonna be a little bit sketchy Just bear with me but anyway we're gonna jump straight on in with the video for any of you guys that aren't familiar with my birthstone series for the first portion of the video I basically go through with the meaning of the birthstone so we're doing May even though it is June just because I missed it last month as I previously said May's birthstone is emerald throughout the history emerald stone has been symbolized with true love and abundant wealth it has a striking green color that relates emeralds to the beauty of nature hope renewal and growth i love emerald stones i think they are so beautiful it's one of my favorite colored gemstones that with ruby which is my birthstone which is july which we'll do next month but i just think emeralds are so beautiful such stunning colors they're so striking so the spiritual meaning of emerald is different in many different cultures so for example in antiquity emerald had a symbol of spiritual awareness protection love and wisdom ancient romans and greeks believed it to be the representative of the goddess venus and henceforth they perceived the gemstone as a conveyor of hope and love then the incas and egyptians placed their belief in emerald as a source of eternal life so they considered it to be a gift from the god of wisdom whose name was Thoth. Thoth? T-H-O-T-H. -T -H. I'm really, I can't say that, I'm really sorry. There are references of emeralds being sold in the Babylon market in 4000 BC and Queen Cleopatra had a fascination with emeralds as well. So in the world of spirituality, emerald strengthens your connection to the divine energies by opening your heart and mind and it represents unconditional compassion, love and acceptance in every form, which I think is really, really nice. I think that's a really nice meaning for a stone. Also, which I found was really interesting, the emerald is the stone for the heart chakra as well. So for my makeup look, I'm obviously going to be doing something emerald and I'm going to try and keep it quite romantic and pretty because obviously it has a lot of links to love unconditional love and compassion i'm going to try and keep it as romantic as possible which is going to be difficult because emerald is such a striking color i'm going to keep my base very simple very pretty so yeah we're just going to jump straight on in with the tutorial section of the video for my base today my eye base shock horror i'm using p louise base and i am just gonna pop this all over my eyelid i'm gonna start with my eyes today just because i feel like this could get quite messy i'm hoping to use some pigments some glitters and whatnot so i feel like this makeup look might get messy pretty quickly popping the product down all over the lid i'm not being super tidy with it because I'm gonna go back over with my sponge in a minute and just blend it all out. So I'm just gonna pat that out using a sponge and then just make sure that everything is nice and seamless and there's no really harsh lines. You wanna make sure everything is nice and fluid. So I'm gonna go in with the Model Zone Supernatural palette. I'm gonna take the shade Mystic and I'm just gonna run this the whole way through my crease small circular motions and this is just going to act as our transition shade it's a really gorgeous shade don't worry too much about your blending because we can come back and fix that in a second i just want to get the shade down i'm just going to take a clean blending brush this one is just the morphe m573 brush and then really small circular motions buffing out those edges of that shadow so just the same on the other side as well really soft small circular motions to blend out that shade i'm gonna go in now to the jaclyn hill dark magic palette which is a stunning palette by the way i'm gonna take the shade shush which is like a really nice cool toned brown shade and i'm just gonna pop this in the crease just underneath that first shade that we've just popped out again really small circular motions so this is just gonna create a little bit more definition and it's gonna make it a lot easier to blend and get the emerald shade into the eye 
And then using the first brush, softly just blend those two together. Make sure that those two colours blended really nicely. There's no harsh lines. But on the outer corner, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 12P palette. And I'm going to take the emerald green shade, which is just this one right here. And we're just going to apply this to our outer corner. So to apply this, I'm going to use this Lux Define crease brush from Zoeva. It's a really, really tiny crease brush. So I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corner. I mean the outer corner, sorry, not the inner corner. Right up to those two shadows that we've just placed down. And then I'm going to come back and like blend that a little bit better in a minute. So I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M73 brush. Uh, no extra product on it, just leave it how it is. And then just really gently buff the edge of the green out into the brown don't want to lose any of that pigment i just want to make sure that that's blended in nicely it has lost a little bit of its pigment but i think that should be okay i think we can work with that and then i'm going to go back in to the jaclyn hill palette and i'm going to go in with this shade here which is called trickery and it's this absolutely beautiful emerald green shimmery shade can you guys see here how beautiful that is look how nice that is so i'm just going to pop this all over my lid I'm gonna use my finger to do this. I love green eye looks on hazel eyes and I have hazel eyes. So when I realized that this is gonna be a green eye look, I was like, yay, I'm so excited. I think greens are beautiful. So because of my eye shape, I have hooded eyes. I will always bring my shimmer up past my crease just so I can see it. And it's not gonna do that annoying transfer. So again, just the same. And I'm bringing this right up to where we popped the matte green emerald shade as well so i'm gonna now go in with some pigment on top of that trickery shade just to add a little bit more dimension because when i look at emeralds i find them really shimmery and when the light catches them they are so beautiful so i wanted to add like a little bit of glitter a little bit more shimmer so i'm just gonna apply this color primer on top of where we've just applied that green shimmer shadow bring this right up past my crease as well so the pigment i'm going to use today is this one from nyx and it is the hunty foil plate pigment and it is a really beautiful like emeraldy green glitter pigment it is stunning i love the nyx pigments i think they are absolutely stunning i use this pigment all the time in real life whenever i go out i will always use a green eyeshadow or do like a green eyeshadow look just because it really suits my hazel eyes and then to apply this i'm using the pc21 brush because this applies pigments really really nicely i'm just gonna pop this on top of the trickery shade i'm just gonna deepen up this matte shade here because i'm not happy with how that part is looking i think everything else looks beautiful i just need to deepen that up so i'm going to go back into the jaclyn hill palette i'm going to take the shade inside job which is like an emeraldy green i'm just going to pop that down oh that's so much better oh my god I should have just gone in with that shade so i'm just popping this in the outer corner on top of the morphe shade that is so much better holy hell why did i not just use that before that would have been so much easier so i'm just going to go in with a clean 224 brush take a little bit of that shade and i'm just gonna blend those edges on and make sure it's blending nicely with the pigment as well there's not like a harsh line it's kind of leaving a little bit of a line but i think that's where the morphe one was like it's patched so i'm just gonna really gently pat some eyeshadow on top of that and i'm not gonna try and move it around too much because it's just gonna make it look even more patchy i'm gonna pop some eyeliner on i'm gonna use the eye studio lasting drama gel eyeliner from maybelline is this yes maybelline it says it right on the front right there and then i'm just gonna apply this using a winged liner brush from zoeva So just before cleaning up the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with some mascara just on my upper lashes. And this is Thick and Fast from Soap and Glory. My Yugaya came for my birthday. Matt bought me some Yugaya collagen. So excited to try it. I'm excited to see if my lashes get any longer. And I'm also excited to see if it helps with my joints as well. So online it says that it can help with joints as well. And my autoimmune disease affects my joints. I have very weak joints. They click all the time. They're very sore and it's very frustrating so i'm really hoping that my you guy can help with my joint 
issue as well so i'm very excited to try it third of july i'll be having my first one i'm so excited i can't wait so i'm gonna take a little bit more of the jolana and i'm just gonna pop that in my waterline it is incredible what well, adding a little bit of liner to your waterline can do it can completely change the makeup look so i've just decided that i'm just gonna leave my eyes as they are i think it looks really pretty and it kind of suits my eye shape as well i think if i start blending a load of eyeshadows underneath it's just not gonna look very complimentary of my eye shape so i'm just gonna leave it but i'm gonna apply a little bit more mascara to my bottom lashes and then i'll be back to prime i'm just gonna take the nip and fab primer this is my favorite primer at the moment i just can't get enough of it it is so nice and hydrating i'm not going to talk too much about this primer just because i speak about it all the time but yeah it's a really really good primer if you guys have dry skin so for foundation i'm going to be using l'oreal true match because i've not used it in ages and i just kind of felt like mixing it up i don't really know which one is going to look better i think one rc come very pale at the moment i think that should be perfect so this is l'oreal true match in the shade rose ivory 1r or 1c so i'm just gonna apply this using my silk finish brush from zoeva this is a really nice foundation it is medium coverage i would say medium buildable i do find that with this foundation i will add two very light layers just to get the coverage up to my standard i like quite full coverage just because i do have a lot of redness but then on certain areas i like my freckles to poke through so for example on my forehead and my nose so i'll only add one layer on to them areas but my cheeks and my chin where i have a lot of acne scarring and redness and blemishes i will use two very thin light layers i'm just gonna apply a little bit more so i'm just taking a sponge now and patting all the foundation into my skin just making sure everything's blended really nicely and i'm avoiding my under eye area i'm gonna bring a little bit down onto my neck just because that seems to be oxidizing a little bit today and like i am super pale as well so for concealer i'm gonna go in with my revolution conceal and hydrate concealer in the shade d2 so i'm just taking a concealer brush to pat out that concealer so i've added a little bit to the high points of my face as well just to brighten them and to help highlight them as well as i said i'm going to keep my base very very simple today i'm going to go over all of this with my sponge as well just to make sure that everything's blended in really nicely so taking my sponge i'm just going to make sure that that is all blended in really nicely i don't want any lines in between my foundation and my concealer i want everything to blend blend seamlessly look fluid right so i've just blended out a little bit of my blend from my eyeshadow so i'm just gonna take the fluffy brush just make sure that is like blended nicely so i'm just gonna really quickly set my under eyes using my maybelline fit me matte and Paulus powder in the shade 102 so i'm just setting my under eyes because as i said i do have a couple of little creases under there so i like to make sure that they are set in place just so that they don't get any worse this is probably the wrong brush because this brush is huge but it's just the first one that picked up and i'm kind of just you know going for it now because i picked up i feel like i wasn't even close enough then I'll take this one this is like a little pointed foundation brush and i should be able to get right up there here we go then i'm just going to really softly powder the rest of my face as well because i'm not going to be using any more cream products i think i'm just going to keep this makeup on all day i'm going for my b12 injection today so i feel like the poor nurse is going to be like wow look at you getting all dressed up to go for an injection i'm going to just do a really quick bronzer contour situation so i'm just going to go in with my smashbox trio so my one does look different to the one online just because mine was limited edition so you will only get the contour bronzer and highlight whereas i got two brushes with mine i'm gonna bronze up i'm gonna start with the bronzing shade from the palette and this is a angled face brush so i haven't put too much bronzer on just because i want to keep my base very soft and i want it to all be about the eye makeup i'm just gonna contour a little bit using the contour shade in the same smashbox palette and i'm using a real techniques contour brush i'm just gonna add a teeny tiny little dusting of contour not too much and i'm just gonna apply this to 
my cheekbone i'm not gonna pop this like anywhere else like i usually would but as i said i just want to keep this like mainly about the eyes so like, this is very hectic i'm trying to film this really quickly before everyone wakes up i'm gonna add a little bit of blush and i've gone for this one here from natural collection i know people are gonna laugh natural collection is such a cheap brand their blushes are incredible don't come at me honey you need to try them okay they're actually really good blushes this one is the shade sugar plum and it's this absolutely beautiful dusty pink shade and this is going to look stunning with the emerald green eyeshadow it's just going to complement the green eyeshadow really really nicely i'm just going to add this to the apples of my cheeks and then i'm going to blend this back towards my bronzer and contour as well so you guys can see how much better that looks it just completely changed the shape of my face and just added a little bit more dimension as well i love blush i'm so glad blush is coming back there was a time where i was getting a bit worried because everyone was hating on blush clients would come and i'd be like oh would you like some blush and they'd be like no i don't do blush so i was getting all panicked because i've always been a blush girl but now people are loving it again and it makes me so happy when clients come in and i'm like do you want blush and they're like yeah of course i do it makes me happy just gonna add a little bit to my nose as well just because i like the way it makes my face look when i put a little bit of blush on my nose i think it just looks really pretty and natural and that's what we're going for so for highlighter i was going to go with something more gold tone because i feel like gold looks absolutely beautiful with emerald but you know i'm very pale so it's not gonna really go so instead i thought i would go with my pixie glowy gossamer duo in delicate duo and i'm gonna take mainly the goldier shade but i'm gonna mix a little bit of the other shade in with it gold doesn't really suit it when you're pale but this one is a really beautiful like champagne gold shade so it'll kind of go really beautifully like look how beautiful that is it'll go really nicely but it's not gonna look like i've got a cast on my face because that's usually what happens like it leaves a bit of like a dark cast on your skin if you're super pale i'm just gonna apply this everywhere that i usually do so i've got some on my cheekbones on the very tip of my nose the bridge of my nose here and a little bit above my brow so i'm just gonna mix them two up again and just add a little bit to my inner corner too so I'm going to go in with lips and then I'm just going to finish off the rest of my eye makeup afterwards. But for lips, I thought I would keep it in the shade of the blush, so like a really pretty blush pink. I just feel like it's going to go nicely with the makeup look and it's just going to kind of bring a softer, more like romantic element to the makeup look rather than a really harsh nude or something else. I just feel like it's going to tie in really nicely with the blush and it's going to contrast with the emerald green as well. So I'm going to go in first of all with Criminal from Urban Decay and this is absolutely stunning pink shade and it is a matte. This is from my own personal collection by the way in case anyone was wondering and it's nice because they are comfort matte so they're not like super drying they do have a little bit of moisture in them but they're not going to move throughout the day and they do sit really nicely on your lips as well but they're not going to leave you looking dry and feeling uncomfortable as well and then on top i'm going to use this soap and glory sexy mother pocket in the shade candy queen and this again is just a really nice baby pink with a little bit of shimmer in so i'm just going to pop this on top I love how this lip colour looks with this eye makeup. I think it looks so beautiful. I like how the lipstick matches with the blush as well. I feel like that has just kind of tied everything in together. And also it's just left my base makeup and obviously my lips included looking really nice and fresh and pretty and romantic. And then we have all of the emphasis on the eyes as well. I feel like that ties in with the whole meaning of the emerald. So I'm just going to really quickly finish my eyes off. So I'm using the 24 hour brow setter on my brows first. I'm just going to brush them up into place. I did like trim my brows and stuff the other day so they're not as unruly. So brows are now done. I literally only use clay brows. I like I was graced with very dark thick eyebrows so i don't need to use anything else i'm just gonna finish off the makeup look with some lashes and i'll be right back to show you guys the finished look and here we have the finished makeup look i went for some foam ink natural length lashes they're not too full i just feel like they look really nice with the makeup look they're not too much they're not too extra and they really complement my eye shape as well i am so happy with how this makeup look has turned out i feel like i've hopefully encapsulated what i took from the meaning behind a emerald birthstone i'm just really happy i feel like the emerald green eye is so striking so like the color of the stone super striking super beautiful to 
look at so i really like the eye look then obviously the meaning behind emerald is love and compassion and very soft so for me those things are very soft and very caring and just that sort of thing so i've kept the base makeup very soft and complimentary and pretty and then had all the emphasis on the emerald green eyes yeah i'm really happy with this makeup look hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i also just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for all of the love and support on my latest video which was the bloopers video so bloopers and outtakes too everyone seems to enjoy it i've had some really lovely messages i will leave that video linked down below if you would like to go and check that out i have two of them now thank you all so much for all your love support like comments views subscribes i really do appreciate all of the love and support from you guys and it makes me happy doing youtube and filming youtube videos is like therapy like it makes me feel so happy and i can be in the worst of moods i'll film a video or edit or do something to do with youtube and i just feel so much better so thank you all so much i feel like i have 53 friends thank you all so much for all of your love and support i love you all so much but yeah i'm gonna go now so again make sure you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone <laughs>